Hello everyone. What is material? Why is it so important in structural load modeling? Many start beginners can answer this. This video will quickly let you understand the importance of repeat load and how to use it in style. In style loading section, everyone knows the load combination here, which combines primary loads and provides the result of a summation of these loads. However, it's merely a simple addition of each load case without accounting for the interaction among these load cases. Consequently, in some situations, the load combination result could be so wrong or unsafe that we must use repeat load to get the accurate result. Repeat load is a true combination of load cases. Under the repeat load, Loads are concurrently acting together, influencing each other's results as they do in the real structure. Thus, the structure is analyzed with nonlinear interaction of load cases. Let's take a look at the cartoon as in the next question. The question is, where is Jack this evening? Jack watches TV at home this evening. Meanwhile, he chats online with his cell phone. If we assume they are load case 1 and the load case 2, then the load combination is the simple answer. Jack is at home watching TV and chatting. However, as a matter of fact, the boring TV made Jack chat a lot and his chatting reversely influenced him to turn off the TV. Consequently, Jack ended up at the gym with his friends. So, by repeat load, the correct answer is Jack is at the gym. As you see, it's simple. Repeat load provides technically correct answer with interaction analysis like our human brain does. Therefore, in our structural modeling, we must pay attention to this, such as tension-only or compression-only members, for example, in a suspended structure or a chaired structure. Compression-only foundations, tension-only support, for instance, the tension-only Rod bracings. These data in the large deformation analysis, direct analysis method for the second order, etc. Next, you will see a steel frame model showing what are differences could be in the results. You see here are three similar steel frame with movement connection. In the left frame, the bracing was changed from normal truss to tension only bracing. But in the middle frame, everything is, is common with truss and uh, normal supports. For the right one, I changed the support at the right end to compression only. Okay, let's move to the loading section to see what load I applied on them. I only applied two groups of primary loads. One is the left group. You can see in the left group, all the group loads are acting towards the interior of the frame. On the right group, I use the same value but opposite direction. They are acting at the same joint. To the first group. So in the result, these two group of loads will be trade off. That means in our normal structure, we can see is there's no forces 
no bending moment on this screen. Similarly, we also expect all these three frames has the same result. That is, there is no bending moment in this whole structure. Okay, let's see the analyzed results and the different load combination. Okay, here is the result. Drag the window to the and uh, find the beam result, the major moment, and uh, choose the combination. This is normal. We we use load combination. So in this uh, under this load combination, we can see the middle structure, middle frame is what we expected. There is no moment here because all the uh, load they are trade off the same joint. Uh, however, on the left side, with the tension only bracing, you can see some strange moment here. And also, on the right frame, because I changed the support to a uh, compression only, we also got some strange bending moment on the whole frame. However, if we use repeat load, we will see there is no moment for all three structures. Each of them get the correct answer. So this example perfectly illustrates how important the repeat load is. Okay, next thing maybe you want to ask how to add a repeat load. It's easy. Repeat load instead is treated uh, Primary load. See here in load case, we just add a primary load, but uh, use non loading type for this repeat load. We can give it a name new repeat load and add. Then we can see in our load. Uh, this is we have another new primary load. On this load, we click, and uh, we can find the repeat load in the second to the last. We click it, we will see the window, and pick the load left and right two groups. They are going to be trade off, and including our load cases. Here is the factor you can use. Uh, whatever factor you want, but here we just use one, keep it simple, add. Now we can see the repeat load is added on. So we can do the analysis, simple like this. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click on the like button. Thank you. Bye.